So I'm here on the south side of St. Louis, Missouri, at one of the highest points in the city known as The Hill. Now, this area is loaded with great Italian restaurants and specialty stores. So I'm here to check out a little joint that's Italian... You think I'm gonna say Italian-American. That's what you're thinking, Italian-American. But no, it's something we don't see on Triple D that often. It's Italian-Greek, owned by two brothers. This is Antonino's Taverna. They notice out there on the walls, you have awards, you've won best Italian restaurant and best Greek restaurant. Right, we have, we have. Not many people get to do that. Right, that's pretty neat. Especially when you're talking about an appetizer that's rocking a third influence. Toast the raviolis. The city itself. Toasted raviolis. It's a St. Louis finger food. We're gonna make toasted raviolis. A little ground beef. Ground beef. A lot of cheese. Ricotta, pecorino romano. Do you speak Greek? Uh, I only black know pepper. Uh, black pepper, salt. Uh, you know, a little, little here and there. Uh, you know how to get yelled at. In I Greek. know how to yell at and cursed out. Some, uh, some onion. Some onion, raw onion. Granulated garlic. Granulated garlic. Okay. We're gonna. We'd like to give this a nice, nice paste. Paste. We don't want texture in this. No, we want it to be smooth, real smooth and fluffy. They're like little meat pillows. <laughs> So the meat pillow mixture is made. Yes. Now we're gonna make we're gonna, with that apparatus. With that apparatus that we had specially made. I've been to like every Italian market across the country. I have never seen this monstrosity. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so first we're gonna take our dough ever so gently. Where do you get the sheets of pasta? Uh, fresh from a local uh, pasta maker. Good, from a cobbler wouldn't be such a great <laughs> idea. <laughs> no. And I'm gonna brush egg wash on there. Mixture. So you just plop those in there. Yes. How many raviolis do you guys go through a week? About 1,500. Seriously? Yeah. Here, I'll let you take care of it. You can okay. guide us to the promised land. Air pockets. Can't tell that you've done this 9,000 times. Right, yeah. Center it. We're just going to press it there. It drops into its holes. And then we just then bring down. it down. That's it, right there. That's a big ravioli, yeah. brother. Oh, yeah. In the Italian breadcrumbs, ready to rock and roll. And our marinara is ready to rock. Yep, this is a family recipe. Oh, hurry up. All right, let's go. Oh. Let's do it. The dough hasn't been cooked. It's going to fry it, so it'll be yes. nice and crispy. Yes. How are we looking? Ready to go? Yeah, I think so. This is a regular order? Yeah, it's a big order. Yeah, it's a regular order. Fresh Romano on there. Oh. Got a nice bite to it. A lot of flavor. Mm. What I like about the marinara, a San Marzano, a ton of basil, a little bit of sweetness. It works together with the ravioli incredibly well. Yeah, thank you. And look at the amount of filling that goes inside of this. Good, old school. Mm. Sir. Oh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I said that's ridiculous. I love coming to these, you know, these historic areas of, of cities and seeing where the, all this ethnic influence happened. And the food right. is legit. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Awesome job. Thank Appreciate you, brother. Oh, what <laughs> yeah, hey, uh. Watch out for these guys! <laughs>